growing up, I was just a fun, very active child. I used to have problems when I was in the sun. We didn't take it too seriously. We just kept rolling. I remember distinctly a couple of serious burns as a child. We fell asleep in the sun around the pool, so I didn't take care of my skin. Melanoma is the most dangerous type of skin cancer. People who have severe sunburns in childhood in particular are at very high risk of developing melanoma. What was skin cancer at the age of seven, eight? If anything, if you've ever heard the word cancer, it's really associated with white people. Anybody can get a melanoma. Our typical patient is somebody with a light skin tone, often with red or light hair, blue eyes, sometimes a freckly skin as well. We should be checking our skins regularly, ideally monthly. Out of sight areas like the scalp and the buttocks, for example, too. The tricky thing is, of course, areas like your back. You may need a hand mirror or a committed friend or partner to help you with that. We usually use the A, B, C, D, E to explain to people what to look for. So the A is for asymmetry. The one side of the mole or pigmented lesion doesn't look the same as the other one. The B is for the border. If it becomes irregular in the shape or even scallopy as it grows out, that would be abnormal. And then C is that the color of that mole or pigmented lesion or freckle is not uniform. And then the D is the diameter. If you think about the eraser on the back of a pencil, if it's bigger than that, but I think more importantly, changing in the size. E is for elevation or any evolution. So if the lesion becomes a little bit more raised, if it was flat before, and we usually add an F as well, which is for funny looking. So any lesion that looks different or unusual on your body. I go into my neurologist for one final checkup. I said to her, listen, I've got this thing on my leg. She looks at it and immediately says, hold on. I need to call the dermatologist. When we're young, we think we're invincible. But when it happens and you come face to face with the statistical message, you don't want to hear that then. Suddenly, life becomes precious. Your results came back, we did the biopsy, and you have stage three malignant melanoma. Yeah, I don't know what that is. And he says, you've got skin cancer. Because my mind literally went straight to, so I lost my dad three years ago. This is my ticket out for six months from March to September when I got my treatment. I was getting in the car, I was going to the hospital, I'd get on the highway, halfway there, I'd turn around and go back home, cry. I knew I was causing more damage to myself, but my biggest fear was going through chemo. What are people gonna say? I'm gonna look at me, I'm not gonna have my beautiful, rich, thick, gorgeous black girl hair. You know, I don't wanna lose that. I would never have thought that sunburn or sitting in the sun could have such far-reaching and silent, silent impact on one's life. Some melanomas are extremely aggressive and progress very rapidly within a few months. So if we catch it in the very early stages, the chance that you will live for five years is more than 98%. If it spreads to your lymph nodes, your chance of being alive after five years is getting about 63%. If you have metastatic melanoma, then your chance for five years of survival is about 20%. For 14 years, 15 years, my maths, I um, have been a cancer survivor. That's about three times the five-year period that is quite critical when you get a diagnosis like mine. We have very exciting new medications available for people with metastatic melanomas. In the past we thought we can do nothing for you. If that drug can make you live five years longer, it gives you a five year good quality of life. You can see a grandchild growing up, you can see your own children growing up. We've got a little eight year old. Matthew turned eight yesterday. I want to get extremely old. I really do, because I want to see him grow old. I got in contact with Lucy and 
um, she advised me to get in touch with a Facebook group called Champions of Hope. Send a message in the group and complete strangers are supporting me. Telling me, young one, you have to go in. You're too young to let this thing defeat you. I could have changed the, my entire destiny if I hadn't made that call on the Friday to get in contact with cancer. So cancer literally, literally saved my life.